funny how the story goes Little hope but bigger dreams ah, They try to bring a sucker down Singing louder than the crowd Welcome back to my channel or welcome if this is your first time here. I'm so beyond excited to share today's video with you guys because I feel like you are going to absolutely love it. So back at the beginning of this year, I did a pantry organization video in our pantry and you guys went absolutely crazy over it. Like I think right now it's at about 3.5 million views, which is absolutely insane. That is by far the best any of my videos have ever done and I'm so thankful for that. But because you guys enjoyed it so much, today we are gonna be organizing my parents' pantry. And I'm so excited, it's an amazing space. It just needs a little bit more organization and that's what we're gonna do today. Something you should know about my mom is she keeps the best stocked pantry ever. So good, in fact, that when we lived with them for about six months while we were building this house, I gained 10 pounds just from all the snacks because I couldn't say no. She has so many little Debbies and just, uh, it's like a grocery store. I love it. The kids always love going over there. All the kids in the neighborhood know they have the best snacks. So I hope that you guys enjoy today's video. My parents have been so gracious to allow me to film this video in their house so that I can give you guys more of the content that you love. So definitely make sure to give them a shout out in the comments and let them know how much you enjoy the video. They watch every single video so they'll read the comments. But without any further ado, I'm loading up my stuff and we're gonna head over to my parents' house so we can get started. Okay y'all, so this is my mom and dad's pantry and as you can see, it is completely full of so many different things. So like I said before, my mom does like to keep a really stocked pantry. She likes to have extra of things and she also bought up a lot of this stuff back when things started getting really bad and it was hard to get to the grocery store as often. So a lot of this is from then, but we are gonna be taking every single thing out one by one and going through it. We're gonna decide what she wants to keep, what she wants to donate, get rid of all of the expired food, and then we're going to be putting everything back in in a much neater, organized way. And I cannot wait for you guys to see how it turns out. My mom had already purchased all these containers and had them here waiting, ready for me to get started. But before we start pulling everything out of the pantry, we're going to go ahead and wash all of these so they're ready to start organizing. Today's video is actually sponsored by Cricut, so thank you so much to them. You guys know by now I absolutely love my Cricut, and we are going to be creating some really great labels for all of these containers. <laughs> So I said this before in my pantry video, but I just want to let you guys know that you do not have to have these fancy containers in order to have an organized pantry or space. I 100% think that they're worth the investment because they will last forever and they're something that you can always use in your pantry or around your home. But just know that if this is not in your budget or you don't have time to buy them a little bit at a time, you can always find some really great organizing options at the Dollar Tree. Now that we have all of our containers washed and dried, we're gonna start pulling everything out of the pantry and we're gonna go through this stuff one by one, check the expiration dates and separate it into categories that we wanna organize it by.
You guys will have to let me know in the comments below, are you more of a buy groceries as you need them kind of person or do you like to stay really stocked up? So I'm a little bit of both. I like to stay really stocked up on snacks and things like that because that's what we kind of gravitate to throughout the day and what all of the kids enjoy. But as far as dinners and things like that, we typically just buy that each week as we need it. But let me know which way you are down below. This passion in life, now I'm addicted So now let me tell you why What is up with your smile? It's impossible, not melting, irresistible When I look through your eyes, not even sky's the limit I used to be satisfied, stayed over the surface Now I just can't get enough Now that we have everything pulled out of the pantry, we're gonna focus on getting this space clean and ready to start putting things back in. So I'm gonna use a multi-surface cleaner to wipe down all of the shelves. I'm gonna quickly vacuum and mop the floor in here as well, but I just wanna say I'm so happy that every single one of you are here. I'm truly so grateful for each and every single one of you and the fact that you take the time to watch my videos means so much to me. If you're new here, I would absolutely love to have you subscribe to my channel and join our YouTube family. And if you are new here, leave me a comment below and let me know where you're from. That way I can chat with you and get to know you a little bit more. You and I side by side. Knowing there is more in life that I want Now it's time to start organizing everything into the different bins and containers and this is always a process for me. I change it around probably a hundred times until I figure out exactly how I want it and what things fit best in which bins. But also I know it can look a little silly or seem odd to put like pre-packaged things into containers, but this really does an amazing job at keeping everything separated and organized and it also makes it look a lot nicer inside your pantry as well.
So as you can see, I'm separating everything into similar categories. So I'm putting all of the pasta together, the pasta sauces, the spreads. I'm putting the syrup and jams together. You just have to figure out what type of system works best for you and then start organizing things into those categories. Also, me and my mom were laughing so hard at all of her grape jellies. Yes, she likes to stay stocked up on things, but she had no idea that she had four grape jellies in her pantry. And that's another great thing about organizing your pantry in this top system. Whenever you get ready to go to the grocery store or to place your grocery order, you can walk right inside your pantry and see exactly how many of each thing that you have. And that really helps with not overbuying or having too many of one thing. It's time for the fun part now, which is creating our labels for all of our containers. So you can do this whichever way you would like, but what I like to do is go ahead and get everything separated into all of my containers, and that way I can make a list of what I want each bin to say so that I can create all of my labels at once. And doing this is so easy. So as you can see, I just have my little Cricut Joy in my carrying case, and it was so easy to just bring over to my mom's house so that we could create everything here. And when you go into the Cricut Joy app, you have all of these different options, but I'm going to be doing the quick labels today and I'm going to be doing the letter only labels here. Now all you have to do is type in what you want each label to say and I have said this so many times before but it is truly so crazy how easy it is to use this machine and this app. I love that it has the option to use the app so you can create things no matter where you're at but you can also do all of this from your computer as well. Here is showing me a preview of what everything is going to look like and I'm going to go down to the bottom of the screen and tap edit which is where you can choose from all of their different fonts. I'm going to go with the same font that I used on my pantry because me and my mom both loved the way that that turned out. But here you're going to select the type of material that you're using and today I'm going to be using the Smart Vinyl Permanent. Now I'm going to tap make it and it is literally as easy as that. It connects straight to your phone from Bluetooth. This app also gives you really easy instructions to follow so you don't have to worry about being intimidated or not knowing how to use anything. So it told me to load my paper, which is what I'm doing here, and it's just measuring off the amount I will need. Then it's gonna tell me to insert the blade, and my blade was already in there, so I tapped go, and now it starts the cutting for you. I love to sit and watch this process every time I make something because I think this is just so fascinating that this little machine is capable of doing all of this stuff. But you guys know I love my Cricut. I've used it for so many different projects throughout my home. I used it to create labels to organize my pantry. I used it to organize our board games. And I also made some really cute labels for the boys' bins in their playroom to help organize all of their toys. I also love using it to label the boys' cups and thermoses and things like that for school. Now that it's finished cutting out my labels, I'm gonna tap unload and then I'm gonna remove the top part of the vinyl off of here and then I'm gonna start the weeding process. And if you don't know what that is, it's just where you go through and remove any excess vinyl that might be in the middle of a letter. And I actually find this part extremely therapeutic. But then once you do all of the weeding, you're gonna add on the transfer paper. So you can do this any way that you would like. You could either cut out the labels first and then add it on top, but I think the easiest way is to go ahead and add it across all the labels and then cut them out one by one so that they're ready to apply. I will have my Cricut Joy as well as all my materials and tools linked below for any of you who are interested. And thank you so much again to Cricut for sponsoring today's video.
It's finally time to start placing things back inside the pantry and I'm starting out by putting the canned goods on these clear acrylic risers. So I'm trying to keep all of the vegetables on the middle shelf, the fruits on the top, and then the bottom shelf will be strictly for soups. And we laughed and laughed y'all because my mom has so many chicken noodle soups, it is crazy. But she bought a lot of them in case any of us in the family get sick. And then also my niece is kind of going through a phase right now, but she's honestly been in that phase for a while. And she really won't eat anything other than chicken noodle soups soup. So she eats it for multiple meals a day. She takes it in her lunchbox for school. So my mom always stays really stocked up for her with those. You will see that I move things around a lot and nothing really stays where I put it the first time, but the best advice I can give you is to just put everything in the pantry and start moving it around until you're happy with the end result. My mind would wander, I'd always dare it to go even farther. Lastly, we're going to apply the labels to all of the containers and no, this is not 100% necessary when you have clear containers, but let me tell you, there's just something about it that makes everything look so cohesive and organized and I absolutely love it. I want to label everything in my house. Make sure to label a few of your containers as snacks instead of giving it a specific name of what's inside the container. And this gives you the opportunity to really change out what you get each week at the grocery store. And that way you don't have to put one specific thing in each container. I don't know about you guys, but we like to switch up our snacks a lot. We get tired of things really easy as well as the cereal. So that's why I like to label things as cereal instead of like fruity pebbles or something like that because you can constantly change it whenever you want. And now it's time for the big reveal of this transformation.
Thank you all so much for watching today's video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments below if you would like to see more pantry transformation videos. Also, don't forget to check out the Cricut Joy. I have it all linked below and I will see you all in the next one.